Just doing a quick little vlog this week because I didn't get to do one last week and it's been insane. It's always insane, so why should today be any different? But hey, uh, so just a little quickie. I'm heading off tomorrow to TNNA. That is the National Needle Arts Association show, which is a trade show in Columbus, Ohio for people like us in the knitting and crocheting industry. I didn't get to go in January because I was busy at the other show, which is CHA. So I'm excited to go see all my friends and see all the new yarns because the uh, summer show is when we get to see all the fall collections that are gonna come out. So uh, we do get a little tiny advantage that the designers get to see them before the rest of the world. Um, but that's my favorite part. I love to look at the new yarn and of course to see all my friends because that's awesome. Uh, so just briefly, one thing I did this week is I made my yarn room better. I got new shelves and what the heck? Here's a quick tour. Hang on. Okay, you guys, the yarn room is almost finished and I'm so excited. There's the loom hanging at the ceiling. That is all sample garments. I wish I could get rid of them. I can't think what to do with them. Then we have roving pillow forms, more sample garments, office supplies, more office supplies, more office supplies, Katie's printer from college. <laughs> and then hold on, I'm going to sneak over here. Here we go to the other side. And we have yarn, yarn, more yarn. 1200 cardboard boxes that I can't quite bring myself to get rid of yet. And then the new shelving unit where we have tools, teaching supplies, crap that's going to TNNA, stuff that the rates have reverted and I haven't shot yet, arm knitting, arm knitting, arm knitting, finger knitting, pillows. And then back to the door. So isn't that cool? I get to find my yarn. Of course, after I got all that done and took that video, I found about 75 more skeins of yarn. And of course, I will come back this weekend with more, but what are you going to do? It has to go somewhere, right? It's a start. Um, what am I knitting and crocheting with this week? I'm working on two new patterns for yarn box that are going to be in the yarn box subscription club. And I'm working, can't show you too much, of course. This is cashmere from Pepperberry Knits, and it is a cashmere blend and all of her colorways are barber poles. So this is called, crap, beach something. Uh, it's the sport weight, Barnell. This is Barnell is the colorway and it's the sport weight. And I will show you the finished product when I can, but not just yet. And I'm wrapping up things for the next knitting book because we're doing the photography for that on June 8, 9, 10, when I get back from TNNA. And this afternoon I went to um, a luncheon sponsored by PNC Bank, which is where I moved all my bank accounts to after I moved down south. Um, and it featured a webinar by Barbara Corcoran, so that was cool. A lot of people are big fans of Barbara because of Shark Tank. But one of the things uh, I remember about being, about hearing about Barbara Corcoran when I worked in New York City in the entertainment industry, when I worked in film and television, worked on Broadway, a lot of people who were between acting jobs, a lot of the talent would get jobs working for Barbara Corcoran selling real estate because she figured, I'm told, that they were already well-spoken, they could already improvise, they could think on their feet, they were by and large attractive people, and she could teach them how to real sell real estate, but she couldn't take somebody who wasn't good with people and, and turn them into real estate salesmen. So I always thought that was the most clever thing in the world that when she was building her real estate business that she decided to use actors because they were personable and I always admired her for that I thought it was very clever so when I saw her on Shark Tank and of course I'm a huge fan of Shark Tank it was very cool to see her uh, to, to hear more of her talking you know than just sort of know her by extension so it was uh, the webinar was a lot of fun and lunch was a lot of fun at the Cape Fear Country Club where I had never been so that was cool uh, but other than that, all I'm doing, I'm running around like a crazy person getting ready for TNNA. Everybody asks me why I enunciate that so well, but when I used to have the podcast, which was getting loopy, I used to say TNNA, and uh, because I talk fast anyway, people thought I was saying T-N-A, which has nothing to do with yarn. So I'm going to go finish packing, 
I'm going to check into my flight. I am going to call the taxi to pick me up in the morning and then I'm going off to Ohio. I will try and get some video for you guys while I'm there because you can't show the new things until they're out. But there are certain areas where I can take a little bit of video. So I'll make you a nice vlog while I'm there and I'll post that next week. But in the meantime, please consider subscribing to the channel so that you will know when new videos pop up. And I have two new craft projects coming in the next couple of weeks if I could just manage to sit down and edit them. Anyway, thanks for hanging out. Happy to see you. And as always, see you later.